welcome back to this playthrough of Comancheria, specifically the rise and fall of the Comanche Empire scenario. Uh, it's been a little while, actually, since I've been able to uh, dial this up in real life. I've been uh, trying to keep up with the comments, which I very much appreciate, on uh, rules mistakes, and we'll, we'll try to clean some of that up. Some of it, I will confess, is I need to probably play a bit slower and more methodically, um, and I sometimes I just skip thing, doing things in the right order, but we'll keep trying to to do that. But at any rate, I hope uh, that you're still enjoying the playthrough despite the, the mistakes that I end up making. So, uh, just reminding myself where we are, we're gonna, I'm going to do a passage of time here uh, at this point rather than wait. Um, my biggest problem that I have, and the thing, the ticking time bomb in this game is these two settlements here, which if uh, green activates and runs a couple of culture uh, activities, they could uh, drive me, my culture way down. Um, it's already like down here, so... Uh, definitely a challenging situation to say the least, but all right. So we are going to choose to do a passage of time. And actually I confess, this is something I kind of didn't think about during my, uh, my first couple of playthroughs or it was that I, once I get into this area, I can choose to do passage of time. I can choose to do it when I want rather than waiting, uh, for it to come to me based on a role. And so I want to do that. Uh, I'm going to do that now because that'll allow me to get another Comancheria on the board. It'll allow me to um, uh, do a couple of things. It'll allow me to take advantage of the fact that I can wipe this uh, settlement um, off the board. Okay. As always, I'm going to have to completely remind myself of all the many steps in Passage of Time. Mark all in-play bands as unfinished. I think it's unfinished. So this, oh, you know what? Look at that. I forgot last time to unspool all of these. At any rate, we're gonna mark them all as uh, finished. Uh, this one should have come off as well, sorry. <laughs> come off the board. Uh, okay. Uh, so mark them as unfinished, so I've done that. The great example of where I just I need to be more methodical. Players may spend resource counters to create new band counters. Resource counters from in play rancherias. Okay, to create new resource counters. Okay, so I'm definitely going to spend a captive here to create um, a one six band here. That gives me four bands to play with there, um, and uh, I think that'll be a good situation. I hope it will be anyway. <laughs> Now I can spend resource counters uh, to increase the strength of band counters. So first things first, I'm going to, I'm pretty sure I got one in here. I'm going to spend one here. Bison. Bison to make this a two strength. Uh, two strength. I don't want him to go more than two just because... More than two, and, and he doesn't move very much. So I'm going to take a chance, and hopefully I'll have some resources left over when I get to the next passage of time um, to sort of to, to do some things. Uh, okay. So that's that. Now, in the other rancheria, I ha should have three one six bands. So I'm going to spend three... To change all of those into two five bands. I'm gonna keep my my three four. Uh, that's my like defense against uh, war bands. But now I've got those, and I've got the ability to go out and probably get some additional stuff. I've got some things that I can trade with to get some food stuff. So uh, we're gonna do that. I don't know if I should keep spending to get more or leave that like it is. That's uh, again, I'm not not I'm still kind of coming to terms with strategy here, tactics and strategy here. Okay. Now I can place one new rancheria. So this goes into rancheria B. So place rancheria B in the Red River. Um Let's see, let me remind myself. Uh, 
Haribo is equal to two. And the Mahimiana is zero. So Paribo is two, Mahimiana is zero. That guy sits there. We have a couple of tokens waiting for us and a couple of horses. Okie doke. So that is my new rancheria, yay. Now, I can voluntarily retire any Mahimiana to transfer his medicine to the Paraibo. And so that is precisely what I'm gonna do down here. I'm gonna keep that medicine at five and go there. Now, Headman Death Tech, roll die for each in play, excepting those with a Mahimiana retired in step five. Uh, okay. So, I gotta roll for a greater than a two here. That's the only one I'm rolling for. So he uh, remains alive. Now I believe I'm rolling for my Mahimi, both of my Mahimiana. So yellow is for uh, Rancheria B, green is for Rancheria A. So he has a one and he has a two, half of that. Return all success counters from the out of play box. So return, oops, you stay there. All of those go back into the cup. Um, okay. Just trying to think where all these things are. Uh, so there's one on that, one there. And maybe there's one back down here. I think there's another, should be another one somewhere, but I don't know where it is. Maybe there's a war band somewhere. Okay. I was trying to figure out if there was enough counters back in that cup, but I think 21 maybe is the number that there should be. Resource counters on the operations track. That's nothing. Each tribe settlement with one plus ravaged is removed. So that means that this tribe is removed. And that these ravaged counters uh, go back. They don't lose one to my medicine, or my military, sorry, um, because I did remove one. Remove all ravage from map spaces. That's interesting. Okay. Roll a die for each piece and ally counter. If the die rolls greater than the cost, return the counter. Okay. This has a little bit of a momentousness. If I roll greater than a three, I return it, at which point I don't meet the uh, victory check objectives of this card. If I roll a one, two, or three, I will meet the victory check conditions because I will control Upper Arkansas and I'll have a Rancheria uh, in a second territory. So this is an interesting moment. Drum roll. No. Nope. I have to keep going and then that's gonna go that goes in there because that is completely full okay mm, that was a shame okay ba, ba, ba. randomly select a territory place one available bison into any empty space Okay, so, and I learned something here, thank you very much. So, uh, Territory 6, which is the Rio Grande, is going to get a bison. And then, this thing, which I kind of thought was, uh, kind of repeat this step, uh, you repeat it for each empty development card space. So I have an empty development card space. Uh, so I repeat that step once. So this is a way of getting a few more bison on the map which, you know, I've been worrying about them going away so quickly. So that is actually uh, a, one way that they can populate a little faster. Where is four? Four is Red River. So there is no place in Red River to... Oh, wait, there is a place. Wait. Hang on, let me just double check. 
empty space. Okay. So this, I'm going to assume, is not an empty space. Let me just take a quick peek, make sure I check that. Okay, yeah. So empty space, as the <laughs> name implies, is a space with no game pieces. So uh, that is not an empty space. Um, if there's no empty space... I can remove anyone bison from that area. So we're going to take that bison and we'll move him to that position in Upper Arkansas. Okie dokie. Now, the player... Now I discard all cards in development spaces and then... So I discard all of those. I'm going to draw three more. I was just checking for any when discarded instructions. So I can spend one AP. Oh, that's good. Oh, I like that. I definitely am going to have to get that card, I think. Okay. Okay. House Pueblo. West Square enemy space is treated as a peace space for trade purposes. Okay. All right. I think I'm gonna. I want to try to buy that card if I get a chance on a planning operation. So, we have played all of those, and there are no. They're all either spend or when in play. What have I got in my hand here? Negotiation. All right, that's going to remember that exists. Okay. Then I can purchase one culture card. Now, um, this is really unfortunate. I can't, because I have zero culture, I, I can't uh, do that. And I'm beginning to feel like um, this card is one that I want to buy. Um, I'm just finding that, uh, it, you know, I, I actually replace... Um, uh, Mahimianas a lot more frequently than uh, I'm realizing. And I'm thinking that might that card might be a good purchase. So I'll deal with that. Deal, deal with that when I can. So this moves back up. And this passage of time moves down. Oh. Shoot, I wasn't even doing a victory check this time anyway. So I guess that really... Did. Now that I think about that, that really didn't matter. Um, now I go to Operations Cleanup. All right, again, I got to remember that even though this feels like this big midway procedure, it's I still do Operation Cleanup. Stacking rules, uh, ran, no rancheria with finish bands, some drawing and revealing one counter. He has no APs, so... So he gets two APs to spend. Uh, wait, okay, yeah, that's right. Uh, so now we're going to figure out who it is. So it is going to be the West. And, oh, Lord, Lord have mercy. So the West is going to do nothing because they only have two APs. And this costs three, so they're not going to do anything. Oh, man, I just, that is just, I'm going to have to, I got to ravage this up because I need him to start not doing things. I need very badly for him to not do things. All right, that is the end of that. So now we loop back around and I'm going to start by doing a culture action. So I get three culture because I have I get I have two rancheria in play. So I get uh, one plus one for each rancheria in play. So I get three culture. I'm remembering that correctly, aren't I? For each territory containing one. Oh no 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 no! I get only get two. 
I only get two culture points because it's this one is not um, controlled by uh, by me. That one is not Comanche controlled. Uh, so I only get two. Now we go to I remember this. Oh, this moves down. Come on, you can do it. Uh, no entry has finished band. So again, I'm just doing this draw and reveal, and we'll see if. We we ally three woohoo that's awesome thank you love you appreciate you that was awesome okay so that ally three goes right there just to confirm i get to place it where i want don't do that all right so that is that can happen so nothing else is going to occur let me make sure i'm right about that actually one second all right yep i'm actually glad i checked um i'm gonna activate it i have two ap's available there so i am actually going to activate this is where i've got to be more careful so the west and number four wow Lots of war. Lots and lots of war. And again, they're not going to do anything because uh, there's only two APs. Okay. So now, so now that is the end of Operations Cleanup. And we're going to cycle around again. And I'm going to do Culture again. This time I do get three. Because this time, with this tribe being allied, um, I have... Um, I actually have uh, uh, a control of this territory. So I get uh, one for the controlled territory, one for each rancheria. So that gives me a grand total of three. Okay. So now we are done with culture. Move that down. Draw one. Success. Thank you. Okay. And... We will roll again because we still have those two APs hanging out there. So this time it's going to be the south and this settle is going to change to a subjugate. Uh, and they are not going to do anything because they can't, they don't have enough uh, APs to do anything. So now it gets a little bit interesting. Um, there's a part of me that's very tempted to uh, do another culture action. Uh, but I'd also like to get a planning action in here somewhere and I need to, I really do need to rack up a few places where I've got some, uh, where I've got some, uh, ravage markers, uh, definitely need uh, that to happen. Um, so I think I'm gonna forego another culture action which would have brought me up to eight i'm gonna be I'd be okay with five and i'm gonna activate rancheria a so i want to just go through this a little carefully because uh so war column phase so there is no war column on the board i'm right about that aren't i yeah, there's no war column on the board that i see okay um now I don't need to do any of that, so... Oh, what am I doing? I've been, I mean, sorry, I've been skipping that correctly all along. I need to look at take actions here. Oh, so... So I'm gonna, okay. Hmm, hang on one second. Okay, sorry, I was getting a little bit confused there but um so i've placed I've, i'm activating rancheria a and i have uh placed uh all of my uh bands there so with this first band i'm actually going to finally remember to do something in the proper order so i'm going to take this band and I'm going to move one space 
and I'm going to trade with that settlement. Okay. So, I've spent 1 MP to move there. This is actually, trading is actually maybe a good reason to keep a 1-6 band around now that I sort of think about it. Um, because I have to spend, if I want to trade everything I have here... Oh, hang on a second. I also brought up to bring my horse. So I'm going to leave the bison behind because there's actually no reason to bring it. Um, actually, no, I'm going to leave one of the captives behind. Sorry. Sorry, just trying to think this through. Leave one of the captives behind. Then I am going to spend uh, three APs to tr three MPs to trade, uh, and I spend one for each trade that I make, and then one extra because it's the bison. Um, you don't spend an extra when it is um, captives. So, I trade all of that in for a bunch of food. And then I will move this band back to the Rancheria. And mark them as finished. So that is, uh, that is band number one. Okay. Now, band number two is going to go raiding in that space after showing up to trade we are now going to show up to raid so we move one and now we raid so we have um we're drawing two tokens and our uh mahimiana's rating is a two so we got to roll a two or less so on a one, we're drawing two extra tokens because it's uh, half, less than half or, or is half. So we're drawing four tokens out of here. So a couple of enemy APs. That was always going to happen, though, I think. And I don't think that there was any way realistically for that. Now, ooh, you know what? I knew I was missing some, some tokens. Um, oops. I, I felt like I was missing some tokens from that cup. So, we get two success tokens go there. We're going to place a Ravage token. And we're going to grab captives and a horse. <laughs> Those captives we just brought, we're taking them back. So now we're going to spend another movement point to raid again. So this time we're only drawing two because uh, we rolled higher than our Mahi Miana's rating. So still happy with that result because it puts a Ravage Marker there. Really want to get some Ravage Markers down. And so I'm sorry I moved my military points thing down instead of my movement points thing. And we're going to raid one last time. And hopefully not regret it. So again, we're just drawing two. Yeah, well, we will regret it. And then we will move this band back. And we will flip them. Now, I could use this band to um, go hunting, which was something I thought about. But what I think I'm going to do instead is I'm going to use this band. I'm going to flip this band, and I'm going to grab two APs. Flip him to unfinished, grab two APs, but that allows me to leave um, this 3-4 band um, unfinished. So again, it can act as my, my, uh, my defense uh, in that case. Okay, so I was just reading this more carefully, and 
what I would have wanted to do uh, to achieve the same result is actually set them up like this because I, I can only get one AP because it's it's based on the leftmost band. Um, but I mark this one as finished um, and this one is not going to get used. So he's just going to go back. Um, I want to keep him unfinished in case, uh, you know, I've got the yellow's got a lot of war column put potential. And so I want to keep that uh, him unfinished. So I only get one AP, but I will happily take it because there are some cards that I would like to buy um, should I get the opportunity. So that is my take actions phase. So that moves. Now we go to operations cleanup. So uh, no problem with stacking rules. And so I've got three finished bands. So less than or equal to the number of finished bands, they get one free. So somebody gets a free instruction. So the West is going to get a free instruction. Oof, that's no good. So they are going to do this subjugate as a free instruction. So what they're going to do is they're going to roll to see if they can remove that a ravage counter, which they do not do. So now we are drawing a uh, a token, all right? Success token. So that goes back. Now we're going to execute all of these. So let's find out who's moving. I don't want it to be the West, but it's going to be the West. This subjugate token goes back to being a settled token. All right. So first things first subjugate and we're rolling for the ravage token so one of these ravage tokens comes off the board moves over there now we got this war five token so again we're rolling for ravaged okay so the ravage token does not come off the board hang on let me actually spend enough to pay for that so that was spending five. Now we're going to execute this war token. So that's three and one. And we are rolling for Ravage yet again. But this time the Ravage token comes off the board. So now we're doing culture. That is just so unfortunate. But at least they're going to spend war on it oh my god this is gonna be oh this is looking very ugly and i lose two culture points because they have a settlement culture culture oh, boy, oh boy, oh boy. Bad, 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 bad bad okay so these both move up these fill in this yellow enemy is look it's just like this board is so bad for me just i need some of these to flip that, that is just as bad as it gets all right um that i believe is the end of operations cleanup oh actually sorry i spent five so i should have one left i spent uh, that that cost four i spent five so that goes like that. Okay. I am going to pause there, uh, the video there. Um, we're at about a half hour. That was a little herky-jerky, I know, and I apologize for that. But um, part of that is I'm trying to be more methodical here uh, to try to get more of this uh, right. Um, but I need to think about what I'm going to do now. And so I wanted to... Um, take a second to pause here and I might as well pause the video at that point and then I can think 
off camera, but thank you for joining me for this ongoing playthrough of the rise and fall of the Comanche Empire scenario. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, it would be great if you could leave a like uh, and uh, leave comments. Certainly the comments helping me with the rules have been, well, I hope they've been helpful. You tell me if they've been helpful or not. But, uh, you know, let me know if there's other great games out there that I should be looking at that you'd uh, like to see played on the channel. Um, and if you're enjoying the channel and what we do here, it would be great if you could subscribe and hit the notification bell. But with that, uh, we will see you next time on Agility Snips Gaming Table.